In a quiet monastery garden, one man watched plants grow and change the world. His name was Gregor Mendel, a monk whose patience and curiosity uncovered the hidden laws of heredity, long before anyone knew what genes were. Gregor Johann Mendel was born in 1822 in a small village called Heinzendorf in what is now the Czech Republic. The son of a farmer, Mendel showed an early gift for learning. He studied physics and natural science at the University of Vienna, where he learned to combine mathematics with observation, a skill that would later define his experiments. After completing his studies, Mendel returned to a quiet life as a monk at St Thomas's Abbey in Brno. But behind those monastery walls, he began an experiment that would take eight long years, using something as simple as the garden's pea plants to study how traits are passed from one generation to the next. Mendel carefully cross-pollinated thousands of pea plants, tracking traits such as flower colour, seed shape and height. He noticed that traits didn't blend, they followed patterns. Some traits dominated, others disappeared and reappeared in later generations. Through mathematics, he discovered ratios, like three to one, that revealed predictable inheritance laws. In 1866, Mendel presented his findings to the Natural History Society of Brno and published them in a local scientific journal. But few paid attention. His ideas contradicted the accepted theories of blending inheritance, and Mendel's quiet personality meant he didn't push for recognition. He returned to monastic duties and later became abbot of the monastery. Decades after Mendel's death, in 1884, three scientists, Hugo de Vries, Karl Korrens and Eric von Schermack, rediscovered his papers in 1900. They realised that Mendel's work had solved one of biology's greatest mysteries. His pea plants had revealed the laws of inheritance, now known as Mendel's laws, the foundation of modern genetics. Today, Mendel is celebrated as the father of genetics. From medicine to agriculture, his laws guide how we understand life itself. Gregor Mendel's story reminds us that even the quietest minds can leave echoes that last for centuries. <laughs>